G'day, I'm Jeff Kimber, and I've been working on the Fruits and Roots Music Foundation mission for uh, about two or three years now. And uh, the reason I got stuck into it is because a few years ago I had about 10 pastors within an hour of where I live asking for help with their music. There were no more pastors than that that were needing help. And uh, it concerned me because I know statistically that when people visit a church for the first time, they've decided within 30 or 40 seconds whether or not they're going to return the next week. And when we've got pastors who are faithful to the gospel and their music teams are struggling with music, that's not a good dynamic. So to further the cause of the gospel, I feel that one of the most important things we can do is strengthen music teams to do a good job so that people will come back and hear the message that they need to hear. So the the mission of Fruits and Roots Music Foundation is twofold. One is to visit with a music team, with a worship team, and assess their talent pool and help them to organize themselves, to structure themselves in a way that will enable them to serve more efficiently. And the second is to uh, provide resources that cater to their specific situation. So I've been working on building up those resources over the last few years a whole variety of resources that, that will apply to a whole variety of different situations. The whole purpose is not to strengthen churches to be better entertainers, or music teams to be better entertainers, um, but to help them to lead worshiping God in a winsome way. I would like you to listen now to a few of my friends, worship leader and music directors that I've worked with over the last few years and hear what they have to say about it. Hi, my name is Melissa Porche, and I'm a worship leader and music director at Low Country Community Church in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. I've helped develop worship teams in large and small churches, and I've noticed that people who are visiting a church will often make their decision to come back based on the quality of music that they hear. One of the biggest challenges for smaller churches in providing high quality music like this is limited resources. They may not have as many singers and musicians as in larger churches, but they still desire to have musical excellence. The team I currently work with has several singers who desire to sing parts but have no way to learn or rehearse those parts outside our practice time. With the resources Fruits and Roots has provided for free, our singers can listen to a recording of the song which features the part they need to practice. That will allow rehearsal times to be much more effective and efficient and help in the confidence that we want our singers to have when we are doing corporate worship together. There is also the option coming of having a musical score that can be projected on the wall. So if your congregation prefers reading music as they sing along, they can or if it would help the singers to have that score on a back wall, they could also see that. I just encourage your support of Fruits and Roots Music Foundation. The mission is a needed one, and the resources and tools provided will help to give churches just what they need as they strive for musical excellence. Hi, my name is Robbie Taylor, and I'm the worship pastor here at First Baptist Church in Merle's Inlet. We've just been talking with Jeff about fruits and roots, and they're really the resources that Jesus songs, and it's a great resource. I'm excited that he's getting this together and pushing it, you know. I remember back when I first started out, and Jeff was, you know, beginning to work on the idea, and we'd record the different parts. We'd put them on the CDs, we'd give them out to the team, and it was a great help. Uh, for, for a starting worship pastor to, to have that resource. It helped with, with practice. They knew what to expect when they got there. You know, they knew that they knew their part. They could, they could go over the other aspects of worship service. It saved so much time. And I was part-time when this first started out and, and working and not having the full week to, to get things together, organized, and to prepare. Uh, it was just a great resource to streamline the practice. You know, I didn't have to spend nights working out parts. Uh, you know, I had it ready to go, handed them the CD. You know, there's, there's other avenues out there, but they're so pricey. So to have something like this, to have, you know, fruits and roots is a great thing. And it allows the vocalists just to sing from their hearts, not be tied down to the music. They can really just worship, freely worship. You know, it helps out with the choirs and 
not just having to go over the, the, the notes every single time over and over again. So Jesus songs will be a great thing. And I've used the system, it, it works, and it works for others as well. So if you'd like to see churches grow that are faithful to the gospel, support Fruits and Roots. We at Faith Press Myrtle Beach realized a long time ago that resources limited us from hiring a full-time music director and accompanist. Music's always been a struggle for us, or at least a big effort, to arrange the songs where all could sing and play as needed. Key changes mean new scores for those who only play from written scores, and chord charts for the more amateur musicians. What adds to that challenge is our approach of mixing hymns with new songs from classical to fast-paced contemporary and with songs that offer praise and that teach as well. Jeff's program supports that kind of basis and is putting a wide array of music at a team's command. It sets the stage to develop real excellence while it also takes so much effort out of the equation. Another aspect of Fruits and Roots that I appreciate is that congregational participation is a key component that it fosters. By helping the leaders sing parts, the congregation can follow all the better. Multi-part singing, well done, is one of the most glorious things God's given His people, and we're foolish not to do it. When Jeff first began to develop this vision, it resonated with me from the start. We had a number of conversations about it through the years as he helped us with our music programs. We have also wanted to put music notation on the wall, and it's been cool to see that being included now in his resources. I am so glad that Fruits and Roots is becoming a reality. I encourage you to give towards the effort. So many churches can grow with it. Many churches settle for poor musicianship not because they don't care, but because they lack the know-how or time to improve and organize their musicians. Another issue that is coupled with that in smaller churches is one that I know firsthand through my father-in-law's ministry. The pastor is put in the position of coaching musicians, which is potentially uncomfortable and is daunting because unpopular or confrontational decisions end up affecting the giving. There are limited funds to begin with. After 17 years of full-time ministry, I have also found that an outside consultant can make suggestions that a pastor or staff member cannot because there is not the emotional investment which can sometimes create friction or potentially an uncomfortable situation. The goal of Fruits and Roots is to provide workshops and training that would be a huge step in preserving the unity in the church while strengthening the musical abilities of the worship teams. And the accompanying resources can help churches sharpen the musical skills of both singers and musicians who, in the end, want to get better. With goals of distributing the recordings through common digital outlets, this would allow a music director to make up playlists, one of the tenor parts and another of the alto, and send them to his singers. They would then be used for free. There is no one else doing it this way. For a small church, it is a needed and growing library. Church leader, you have the opportunity to not only change your church worship culture, but also help others in their endeavor to train their worship teams. Just as the early church supported each other financially, you have the opportunity to make an impact by supporting Fruits and Roots in the innovative ways this ministry can impact communities for the kingdom. Hi, my name is Garland Schrader. I'm the worship leader here at South Strand Community Church. And I want to share with you a couple of the things about the needs Fruits and Roots Music Foundation are addressing. But let me start this way. I never planned on being a worship leader. And even now, I do not even think of myself so much as a worship leader. I've not had formal music training, um, but my church had a need and my pastor needed help. And I can play the guitar and sing adequately, so I serve. But I'm limited in what I can do. Um, I can sing well enough to stay in key, but I can't sing harmony. Uh, I can hear it, and I can sing it if I hear someone else singing it, but I can only rarely do it alone. And this is one of the ways Fruits and Roots is vital for worship teams. Jeff, through Fruits and Roots, is providing worship songs with just the harmony vocals recorded so that team members can learn the harmony part. And that's just one thing that could transform the sound of worship in any church. Uh, for worship leaders and small churches to also have access to core charts, uh, backing tracks, vocal scores, piano scores, split tracks, 
notation all in PowerPoint at no cost to them, it's amazing and unheard of. Let me also say a quick word about the man behind Fruits and Roots for those of you who may not know him. The reason why Jeff has a heart to get these tools to churches and worship leaders at no cost is because of the one who has his heart. Jeff loves the Lord. Uh, he loves the gospel and because he does, he wants to help equip churches to um, praise the Lord with skill and excellence. Um, and in so doing, give churches more opportunities to share the gospel with those who might not know Christ, but maybe they just come because of they like the music. My wife and I have supported Jeff for several years now. Um, I see the need, I feel the need, and I hope that you would consider helping carry some of that load as well. Fruits and Roots Music Foundation is now at the stage of standardizing arrangements and releasing recordings through digital music outlets. And this way, a small church singing team will be able to stream the parts for free. The other resources will also be available for free through a membership site at jesussongs.net. To do this, we need your help. The way God has designed the church to grow is through each local congregation, and our job as believers is to strategically work together and partner together to make each believer and each congregation as strong as they can be. I'm convinced that helping churches do a good job with their music is one of the most strategic things that we can do at this hour. It needs to be done. It must be done. There are pastors and congregations struggling with music who don't need to be, and people who need to hear the gospel who are not. So let's change that. Will you help? Select one of the options below for monthly giving, and I'll keep you updated about once a month. Thank you for your time today, and thank you for your support.